Okay, so I'm here in the confession chair, and uh, I just gotta say that the smell, Jason's smell, ever since the pickle juice incident, it's just, it's gotten real freaking bad. And also, he's a bit of an idiot. I can't, hey, asshole, I can hear you. Oh, shit. There is no confession chair. Oh, hello. You're probably wondering why David and I are enjoying such an elaborate snack here inside this van. Well, there's a really good reason for it. Or a really stupid reason. David, what are we going to do in here? We're going to sp spend 24 hours in this van. Just Jason and I. We're never going to leave. For 24 hours. Now, the van is a Volkswagen California T6.1, the latest version of Volkswagen's little camper van. It's actually a fantastic little van. We did a whole thing on it last year, so this year to make it different, we're not just going to show you what's in this van. We're going to live it every hour for 24 hours, voiding bladders, filling with gas, whatever we have to do here in this van and avoiding the specter of van madness. What do you think, David? It's gonna suck. Yeah, it's gonna suck a lot. So, as we mentioned, David and I are going to be spending 24 hours inside the Volkswagen California T6.1. So, we figure we'll give you a little tour and show you what it's all about. We've got a sink, which we have our dirty dishes in. We have a stove, two burner stove. And then, of course, there's a refrigerator here. I'll move our books, bookshelf. There's a refrigerator here where you can store your, you know, you want to store in a refrigerator. Is anyone not aware of what one is a refrigerator? In this cabinet, we've got a little mirror. Hey, big guy. Uh, we've also got uh, a little closet area. And before, this was like a corrugated, uh, like an accordion panel. And now it's actually just like a straightforward panel to slide in. Uh, last time we did this, I fit inside there. I guess I can try to peek again. Get all the shit out of here. All right, so let's see about cramming inside this. All right, now. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, let me dislocate that. Okay, go ahead. Ah. Okay, go ahead. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh. So the accordion door let me fit better. It's just harder. I think I could really cram it, but it's uh, you know, it's a little difficult. Jason is right there, urinating out of the van. Yeah, it feels so good. Uh, yeah, you can in. you can Whoa. you can hear the the urine hitting the ground. It's quite a flow rate you got there, J Jason. Sounds like a pretty healthy flow rate. I think it was. Really had good action. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> oh, Jason. It's a small van. This is dumb. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, the obvious spot. He's not in the cupboard. Let's see if he's somehow <laughs> turned himself into a small rectangle and fit in here, no? Yeah, that doesn't make sense there, no? Okay. <laughs> Alright, he's not in here. He's gotta be. No. Uh, I don't get it. Jason, where the hell are you? Oh, crap. <laughs> you were hiding up here. 
was so <laughs> Alright, we have food. Thank you so much. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. This looks wonderful. Fantastic. Thank you. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> thank you again. Danke. Alright. Yeah, Danke, thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yes. This is living right here. See, if you just say you're gonna stay in something for 24 hours, then kind Germans will bring you steaks. That's the lesson. Uh, I'm surprised not everybody says they're staying inside their vans for a quick hour. Danke. Okay, um, this is what, question, 25? Yeah, something like that. But I'll get you on this. Here we go. Okay. Which one of these is was not a standard feature on the 1980 Buick Skyhawk? Okay. okay. Which was not a standard feature? Okay. 3.8 liter V6. Uh, standard. Automatic transmission. B78-13 bias ply tires. Which one of those three was not standard? In 1980, nobody was using bias ply tires. I had have gone out in the 70s. I can't believe they would sell a new car with bias plies. Drink the pickle juice! What? <laughs> You're kidding. Came with bias ply tires. Oh my. Did not come with an automatic four-speed manual. It was standard. You're drinking the pickle juice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is, this is Buick's fault for selling bias ply tires in 1980. And you're gonna suffer for it. <sighs> Fuck. Oh God. <laughs> you just spat everywhere. You're so terrible. <laughs> you just spat on my shoes. Oh God, it's awful. <laughs> David. Uh, hey. Yeah, what's up, man? Are you imagining me as a giant chicken leg? <laughs> Obviously not. That's ridiculous. David. Dude. dude. We <laughs> just had dinner an hour and a half ago. <laughs> it's not like that. I'm just reading the Buick. This is not a lifeboat on a shipwreck. I'm just reading the Buick thing, man. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not looking at me and turning me into a giant chicken leg in your head. No. no. Not really, no. All right. Uh, dude, why are you looking? Are you imagining me as, as, as a chicken? No, it would be silly, <laughs> giant chicken leg. Don't be silly. Ted Danson, you can't keep me out of Helen Mirren's sex submarine. I won't let you. You can't. I'm doing. One of the big advantages of staying in a van 24 hours is there's really no point in putting your pants on when you're driving because you're still stuck inside anyway. So you get to drive around pantsless and shoeless, which is, as you know, the dream, the American dream. All right, so we get as close as we can. Uh, I think I've got my wallet here. Okay.
Oh, thank God this has a tether. Ein blaues äh, Trailer da. Ah, das blaue Hint, Auto da. Hinter uns. G ah, das, ja. GMC heißt es. Ja. Und wenn Sie das ihm ge äh, geben, dann bekommen Sie zwei Lobster Roll, wenn Sie es. Und Ihnen bringen. Bitte. Okay. <lacht> danke. Danke, danke. Okay. You want half? Would you like, would you like some of this? <lacht> Thank you. Thank you She so much. She wanted to give me just one. And I said, no, no, it's for two. Okay, <lacht> Vielen Dank. Bitte gern geschehen. Danke, danke. Danke. Viel Erfolg. Viel Erfolg. Gleichfalls. Even though we're stuck in the car, that doesn't mean you can't do some good car spotting. And this right here is fantastic. It's one of the uh, T3 uh, pickups, Volkswagen pickups. And it's a, it's a marvel of pickup truck packaging. I just So you've got no hood. A huge load space, all the sides fold down, all four sides, and it's got a huge trunk under the bed. These are amazing pickup trucks. I just thought you should see it. All right, ready, David? Yes. Same time, ready? One, two, three. Oh, man. Ah, uh, it feels good. It does. The van's oh, great, but I mean, 24 hours in no, it. No, there's far worse places to be stuck for 24 hours, but being 24 hours in anything is awful. And having to urinate out of a car I mean, yeah. is not great. It's been a lot of times we've urinated out of a car, and I really need to do more substantial waste wreck release, but it was pretty great otherwise. It sure was. It's a great way to see Canada without actually touching any of it. And uh, yeah, thanks again to Volkswagen for letting us stink up their van, something awful, and stay in there for so long. It's a fascinating thing, and uh, I'm just glad to be free. Yeah, it's nice. All right, have fun. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Ah, hi. Thanks for visiting us. <laughs> oh, hello. You're probably wondering why David and myself are sitting here inside this van eating chunks <laughs> of sausage and stinky cheese. Oh, hey, thanks for coming out and visiting. It's me, Jason, and David, and we're here sitting in a Volkswagen... Cal... Oh, let's take that around. 